People living at Capilina Beach Homes are frustrated. Their community at the former Navy housing site was added to the Army's affected area list yesterday, but only active duty members are covered under the Army's evacuation authorization. Nikki Schenfeld follows up. We're still waiting on those test results from the Navy and from the Health Department, but on Sunday, the Army added Iroquois Point to their list of affected areas. And according to an email sent out Sunday night by Capalina Beach Homes to residents, they were added to the list so they could receive additional resources. Chris Anton and her three kids live at Capalina and don't qualify for additional resources because she isn't an active duty dependent. Her once healthy 15 year old daughter, now needs help walking. Oh, okay. Both mom and daughter were in pain and went to the emergency room on Friday. Both were diagnosed with accidental petroleum poisoning. The doctor told them to get out of the home due to hydrocarbon toxicity. Here is her daughter crying about bathing with cold water bottles after she said all she wanted for Christmas was clean water. I just wanted to move to a new home. Anton says she reached out to the Navy and Capalina back on December 4th, but never heard back. Today, she's packing up and finding a new place to stay. The Army Task Force Ohana wrote on Facebook Sunday, Army personnel and their authorized dependents are authorized full entitlements under the evacuation authorization. Senator Kurt Favela says it's wrong to only take care of some families. I feel really helpless that I cannot help these I can't help these families, and it's frustrating to get calls at 5 in the morning telling me what we're going to do. We can't drink the water. My son is sick. Uh, my, 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 my daughter's throwing up. I mean, I can't relate because I'm drinking good water. It's, it's hard. It's hard for me to sleep. Governor Ige's office said the decision regarding a federal emergency rests with the federal government and is waiting to hear from the Attorney General's office on what a state emergency proclamation might accomplish. The Army said civilians and veterans should reach out to the city and county of Honolulu for assistance. Aww. Nikki Schoenfeld, KJON2 News, working for Hawaii. The Army